Leadership, seems to me, is about setting a direction, setting out the values that are really important to you. And if you're able to do that, the people who work with you, for you, are able then, when they come to the dilemmas of work and life, are able to guide which way to travel. Quite often in my career, i found a group of people will have a big decision to make and are split. When you get to those forks in the road, you have to make those decisions and you have to be supported by a good team and you have to be able to trust them and they have to be able to trust you. So the ability to pick your team, I think, is vitally important and a huge amount of effort and sometimes good luck, I think, needs to be invested in that. The mission that you pick has got to be sincere. It's got to be relevant to that organisation, but it's got to be something you believe in. And what I wanted to capture was the spirit of the officers that are a vital part of being a police officer. I wanted to make sure that I represented when I led. So for me, it was about stopping crime or catching the people who did it or helping the victims. And also in the process of doing that, to make sure we we're the best possible at the job we did. You have to have a model of communication. So first of all, I wanted to meet all the leaders because there's 11,500 of them. So every year, uh, I would get them together in groups of 250. On the first year, it took us 20 days, 20 working days. Uh, the next tier up, which was about 1,500 people, I got together every 12 weeks. And then your top 100, we got together every four weeks. And we got together regularly about two things, really. What are we planning? What should we be planning? And finally, what you want is always ideas, is that they can put them into a pot and then you can see whether or not you can achieve them. So a huge amount of time and therefore effort went into that communication flow. And at various times, that provided real insight and strategic shift in the organisation I led. But I always insisted on keeping some private time. I think if you can keep yourself physically fit, uh, healthy, then you're better prepared for all the challenges and you're probably a more balanced around an individual. You know, the weekends, generally I wouldn't work. My staff knew that if they want to contact me, they could ring me any time. Ring me at three o'clock in the morning, I didn't care. They could do that. But on the whole, I wouldn't respond to emails over the weekend. What they could do is ring me and say, have a look at that email, it's really urgent, have a look. Didn't mind that at all. I think that's the final thing I would say, is keep as many outside interests as you can. If you become the narrow person who only is the professional, who only has got that part at work, I think that becomes obvious at work, that you are quite narrow, uh, you don't take a balanced, mature view of things, and it, that work is the only thing that seems to matter. And of course it's vitally important, but it can't be all of you.